Since its beginning, the American Red Cross has been all about people helping people. People who volunteer their time and talents to come to the aid of those who have been affected by a disaster or an emergency. The Red Cross recognizes that there are ordinary people who are going about their daily lives when suddenly fate puts them in extraordinary circumstances. And it's due to their quick and unselfish actions that they make a difference in someone's life, even saving a life. This year, the Lorain County chapter of the American Red Cross is honoring seven individuals who we feel exemplifies what it is to be a real hero. I work for a neighborhood house for six years. He was making his daily meal delivery when one of his clients did not answer her door. And he knew something was wrong even before hearing her cries for help. He called 911 and stayed on the scene with her until help arrived. I normally knock a couple times, open the door, I greet her, she greet me, and I will give her a meal. But this one morning, when I knocked at 10 o'clock in the morning, I noticed something awkward. I did not hear the TV going on. I knocked. I tried to open the knob to place the food in there, I wasn't getting no answer. What I heard was the scream for help. And when I heard the scream for help, that's when I called 911. And then I waited there till they arrived, and they had to remove a big hair conditioner right from the porch. Remove it, and when one of them was able to sit through the window, they seen her on the floor. Mitzi Baird and daughter Savannah came to the rescue of Jack Baird when he suffered a heart attack in the middle of the night. Mitzi immediately began CPR while Savannah called 911 and directed the rescue squad. Their team has been credited for saving Jack's life. One thing I think maybe if people hear it and hear the story, they'll make them realize how important it is to be knowledgeable about CPR or something that even if you don't do it 100% correct, no matter what you're doing, you're doing something and helping. Adele and Eric Flynn were having a quiet Sunday when Adele's uncle, Lloyd Gordon, had a traumatic accident and was run over by his tractor. My kids are probably more of the real heroes because <laughs> I was actually ready to go out to the barn 10, 15 minutes earlier and my daughter had found And you would have seen it. I would have probably came back and found him. Yeah. Because the barn I was going out to was where Candle Arts out in the back. Mm -hmm. And so Eric had gotten up early. He works on the farm and they milk early. So he was taking a nap on the couch. And I think everything kind of lined up. Dell and Eric did all the right things to keep Lloyd alive until help arrived. And if they had delayed for just 30 seconds, they would have lost their uncle. To see like blue jeans and some feet laying on the ground. So I just told my three and five year old kids, absent will, to sit on the couch and watch cartoons and do not come outside mm -hmm. and just took off running to the bar. Shane and Brittany Robinson were at the end of a long weekend and just wanted to get home. It's kind of weird because little things kept stopping us from leaving. Like my sister kept asking me to come back in the room and talk to her more about like the weekend and my mom asked him to take the trash out. Just like little things. So we kept wanting to go home, but little things kept stopping us from going home. When they came upon a burning car on a country road, they immediately stopped to help. I said, go look and see if anyone's in there. I'm gonna call 911. So he got out and um, tried to get the driver's side door open and it was locked and I was on the phone with 911 and I saw people like hanging out of the passenger side, mm -hmm. which was, they had a culvert, so it was yeah. like up on the hill. And um, he ran over and ripped down the door pretty much. I don't know how he did it because he was so far up, but he like broke the seal of the door and was screaming at the people to wake up. Brittany called 911 while Shane pulled two severely injured people from the car minutes before the car became fully engulfed in flames. We knew what we did, but I don't think it was to that extent. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think at that time. I we were more concerned whether 
they were okay. Yeah. We were asking how we could follow up and see if they were okay because as of that time, we would save their lives for 30 minutes. The Red Cross, from its inception in 1881, has been all about people helping people, neighbors helping neighbor, who voluntarily give of themselves to help in times of emergency, in times of disaster. The Real Hero Awards are to honor everyday people who came upon an incident in an emergency and reacted immediately to help one another. We hear all kinds of wonderful stories that really touch our hearts, but what we need to do is to leave here today and think about when disaster happens, it's sudden and it's imminent. So let's think about ourselves. Let's think about being the heroes of tomorrow.